All right, veins on these babies. Okay, so I'm switching paintbrushes. This one is absolutely tiny. Let's see how close I can get it. I have taken a, a bigger paintbrush and I have trimmed it down to be super tiny and super pointy so that I can do these tiny little veins without having it big and bulky. I am switched my blending brushes from the bigger one to a smaller one that has a wedge on it. All right, now I'm going to start. I'm going to start on the head. I'm going to take some paint from the jar and put it into my lid so that I can use that as the platform to get the paint. I'm going to start right behind the ears. I think I'm going to zoom in just so you can see better. Alright, zoom. Alright, I think you can see good now. Alright. Veins are kind of like roots. They're squiggly and wormy and they do not go in straight lines. So always try to keep your veins wiggly and squirmy and don't let them go in straight lines. I always try to gently touch each of my veins after I put them on and this helps to blend them and blur them so it just kind of makes them sink so they look like they're below the surface and not sharp edged and straight lined. You can kind of see them below the surface. Alright, so that's those two. And I'm going to come down the, the middle of the forehead. Branches off, it goes across the nose and down onto the eyelids. So, those are my facial veins, and now I'm going to make it so they kind of connect across the back of the head. I, they don't all have to connect. Um, you get a serenade from my washing machine. I think it can sing better than I can. Bada boom, bada bang. There you go. There's your performance for the day. Don't get too far ahead on your veins. You don't forget to um, kind of smushy them and blur them down. All veins are different. Every head I do has a different pattern. Just, just kind of wing it and make it up as I go. I also have a bad fat habit of putting my paintbrushes in my mouth, but I can't really talk and direct traffic when have them in my mouth. So I'm trying to teach myself to put them down instead of stick them in my mouth. You have your great big jugular veins underneath your ear, kind of like your throat. They supply a lot of blood to your head and your brain, so they're kind of big and thick.
Okay. So that is the veins on Suki's face. I'm going to do her limbs, or one arm and one leg, otherwise it'll take 10 years. Alright, I guess that's the end of my video. I'll be right back. <laughs>